So y'all know I love breakfast. It is like one of my very favorite meals in the entire world. And I am always looking for new, easy breakfast recipes. So today we're gonna test out three new recipes together. They sound amazing. I am so, so excited. So let's go ahead and get started on the first one. And also, I'm still feeling a little under the weather, so I'm sorry for my voice, but I feel much better. I just have this scratchy voice still. I was gonna say, I hope I hope that these recipes sound better than your voice does right now. A bunky? No, I mean, not in a bad way. I just feel bad. I feel bad for you. I know, it's still very scratchy, but slowly but surely, I'm starting to feel better. You feel better, you just don't sound better. Exactly. Okay, so for this first recipe, we're gonna make an easy baked French toast casserole, y'all. It's gonna be so delicious. But this recipe actually sits in the fridge for at least two hours. You can make this ahead of time and then let it sit overnight. The longer it sits, the better, honestly, but at least two hours. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of assemble it, pop it in the fridge, and then while that's in the fridge, we'll get started on our second recipe. Now I am gonna half this recipe since it's just me and Bunky, but I will leave the original one linked down below. But to start, you're gonna need either a loaf of brioche bread or French bread, and we're just gonna take this and like either cut it or tear it into like bite-sized pieces. And as you can see, there doesn't have to be any like rhyme or reason to this. You can just literally tear it apart. Now to this bowl, since I'm halfing it, I'm gonna do four eggs. three-fourths of a cup of milk, a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm not gonna measure that. I'm just gonna <laughs> add it in. That seems good. And then I'm gonna do about half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, some sugar, and then the original recipe says half of a tablespoon of orange juice. I don't know what half of a tablespoon, I don't know what half of half of a tablespoon is, so I'm just gonna put the tiniest splash of orange juice in here. Oh gosh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Okay, that's good, that's good. And then just whisk this all together. Okay, once you've got this all whisked together, just pour this over top of your bread, and we're just gonna kind of fold that in together until it's like nice and combined. Now, if you're making this full recipe, then you should use like a nine by 13, but since I'm halving it, I'm just gonna use like my eight by eight, and we are going to generously grease this bad boy. And like I was saying to y'all, this would be a great like weekend breakfast because you could prepare this the night before, pop it in the fridge, and then on Saturday or Sunday morning, all you have to do is make this like delicious brown sugar drizzle cream sauce that we're gonna add on top, pop it in the oven and bake it so it's so easy. It's like a great make ahead recipe as well. Okay, so I'm generously gonna grease this bad boy. Now we're just gonna add our bread and egg mixture to our baking dish. Maybe I should have made the full recipe because I think this is gonna be so good. I'm gonna wish we had more. Okay, now we're just gonna cover this and this is what we're popping in the fridge for a couple of hours. Now for these next two recipes, I don't know which one of them I'm gonna love more because they are like the savory breakfast, which is my favorite, and they both sound so, so good. But I'm gonna get started on these breakfast sliders that are just gonna be like over the top amazing. Like my mouth is watering just thinking about them. And to get started on those, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up this Smithfield thick cut bacon. And I wanna say the biggest thank you ever to Smithfield. I am so excited to get to partner with them. Y'all know we love so many Smithfield products especially the bacon. I'm so, so excited. So let's go ahead and get this cooking. We have used Smithfield products for years and we love them so much for their high quality meats that come in a variety of flavors and cuts. They have savory premium flavors like maple thick cut, which is hickory smoked and it's made with real maple syrup. They also have center cut applewood smoked. We love that one too. And bacon lovers, double thick, double smoked, yum. I love starting my morning with Smithfield bacon or sausage. There's just nothing like the smell of bacon cooking while your coffee is brewing if you ask me. It reminds me of being in my mama's kitchen on Sunday mornings when I was a little girl. She'd always be cooking bacon. And you know how Smithfield has that rich flavor in their bacon? It comes from their natural smoking process. So from appetizers to breakfast, brunch, and dinner, Smithfield adds flavor to every meal. Also, did you know that Smithfield has been around for 85 years and they are the leading provider of premium pork products? So aside from bacon, they also have sausage patties and links and rolls. They also have ham steak 
steaks and diced and cubed ham. And Smithfield has all the flavors that you want to savor. I know so many of you love Smithfield as well. And you can find their products at most of your local grocery stores, including Walmart. So go get you some of their incredible bacon. The flavor is amazing and you are going to love cooking it for your family. Okay, so we've got all of our delicious bacon cooked. I'm about to go ahead and start scrambling up our eggs. And then I have our King's Hawaiian rolls right here. I'm gonna get Bunky just to cut these in half. Okay, so I did five eggs. If I need more, then I'll just make a couple more. And then if y'all been around here for a while, you know that I like to add sour cream to my eggs. You can do milk if you want to. I just like the creamy richness that the sour cream adds. I'll also put some pepper in here and then I'll salt them once we start cooking them. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I make, I think, the best scrambled eggs ever in the entire world. And it's because I love them so much. So like over the years, I feel like I have perfected them. When you say monkey? You've perfected it. I've perfected them. You're, you're, an, you're, you're an expert. <laughs> I'm an expert on the scrambled yeah. eggs. Can we make any more corny jokes about it? But they're, they're classics. Who couldn't? We gotta we gotta throw them in. That's hilarious. Um, but I will say my thing is that you start with a good amount of butter in your pan and low and slow. That is how you make really good scrambled eggs. And um, I like mine like a soft scramble. So y'all will have to tell me down below, do you like a soft scramble? Or do you call it a hard scramble? Mm. I don't like firm scrambled eggs. I don't they, yeah, I like them. Uh, I like soft scrambled eggs. I like too. them to be very moist. I'm more of an like over medium fried egg kind of guy though. Yeah. So I'm scrambled egg girl all the way. So I've got my pan on back here. And I've had it warming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and add probably about a tablespoon of butter. Since we have so many eggs, they'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. How's your heat level there? It's on too. Looking pretty aggressive. <laughs> That's because it's been heat up for so long. I think I do need to turn this down. If you want even like the most best scrambled eggs you've ever had in your life. Decadent. Decadent. Then for one of, okay, let's say you're making three scrambled eggs, right? For one of them, how do you say it? Get rid of the um, whites right. and just use the yolk. So you have two regular and then just one yolk, and that's what makes it like velvety amazing. I'm gonna add in our eggs. Now this is also my other little tip, is that I normally put at least one entire Velveeta classic cheese single, <laughs> how do you say it? Mm -hmm. Velveeta slice. Your American cheese slice. Yes, because that makes it really creamy as well. But since we're gonna use these on our sandwiches plus another cheese as well, I'm not gonna put any cheese in there while they're cooking. I better stir these, I just real, realized. Yeah, they've been. <laughs> I'm over here talking to y'all when I gotta us, stir. Telling us how good your eggs are and we're, uh, oh no, you're still safe. Oh, they're perfect. See, I like going around the edges and kind of like folding them mm -hmm. versus just like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't wanna be aggressive. No, I like to kind of like fold them in on each other. It gives a perfect little like ribbons of eggs. Oh, I you see that. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Eggs. yeah. Oh man, these are gonna be good. My sweet bunkie is going ahead and cutting our King Hawaiian rolls in half so that we can build our sliders. I've learned over time, I like to start with a vertical approach, uh -huh. get, you know, uh, set set the stage, uh -huh. and then you then you lay it down, and then you have a nice horizontal slice. Okay. See how they're starting to kind of just like ribbon together? Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, you don't understand how much I love scrambled eggs. Okay, like 30 more seconds, and then this is like the perfect consistency that I like my scrambled eggs. Okay, so I've got the bottom of my Hawaiian rolls down in my 9x13, and then to that, I'm going to add our layer of eggs and just spread these out so that, you know, it's nice and even on every single little square. So now we're going to top this layer with pepper jack cheese. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our bacon, and I cut it like this so that it was bite-sized and it fits on like each little sandwich better. Now we're gonna top this layer with our Velveeta slices, and this is Daisy Mae's favorite kind of cheese, so she is down here like wanting some cheese. 
<laughs> I'm gonna tear her off a tiny little bite so she can have some. Okay, now we're gonna top our sliders, but we are not done yet. I feel like what goes on top is what makes these so epic. Okay, so to my little saucepan, I'm gonna add in some butter. Of course, if you have a microwave, you can just microwave this. But I'm gonna add butter, and this is like what the star of the show is, some maple syrup. And we're just gonna melt this all together. And then we're gonna brush it on top. And just so you know, maple syrup and butter melted together smells amazing. Y'all, I actually cannot even handle how amazing this looks. We're just gonna pop it in the oven at 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes, and then these will be ready. Okay, friends, look at these. That maple syrup butter almost just looks like glass. Yep. On top of there. That cheese is melted. I am just like dreaming over here. You know, come, come over here and get look at that. Oh, like yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, y'all. The cheese pull. Everything. The glaze on there. Like, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just hand that to me, please. Okay, Bunky is over here like, he wants first dibs. He cannot wait any longer. Whatever the uh, topping glaze sauce you put on top of this, I mean, it's like transformational. Uh-huh. This is like something I feel like you would pay $10, $12 for in a breakfast place. Wow. It is so good. Is it one of the best bacon, egg, and cheeses you've ever had? Probably the best bacon, egg, and cheese wow. I've ever had. The pepper jack cheese is sneaky. Yeah, because it like, gives you a little spice. Yeah, because you got that sweetness on top. The eggs are delicious. The, the bacon, of course, is so good. And then that cheese is like, you got both cheeses. You got the yeah. good melty cheddar-y type cheese and then you got a little spicy. But the top, it's almost like it turns it into a, it's like a donut. Krispy Kreme Clay's yeah, donut. it's like a donut. Yes, okay, I need you to look, film me. I wanna try it. Right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. The way that it is so soft and creamy inside. Mm-hmm. And the way that you have all those flavors together. Mm-hmm. But the sweetness sends it over the top. I mean, yeah. no. It's time, it's time to keep eating. You have to make this recipe. Mm. One more thing about this. You can make these and then like leave them in the fridge. I would say up to a couple of days, they'll be fine. But you could put them like in a um, freezer bag or like a freezer type container. And I would say that you can freeze these for up to a couple of months and then just pop them out them in the microwave or in the oven. You have like a great, awesome meal prep recipe as well. Good morning. We are gonna make our French toast casserole. We didn't make it yesterday because we ate so many of those little breakfast sandwiches. We were like, we cannot possibly <laughs> eat this too, so we're gonna make it this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit it out while I get the oven preheating so that it can kind of like come to room temperature before we put it in there. And I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. I also haven't made my coffee yet this morning, so coffee first things first. And I am still loving this salted caramel creamer. It is my favorite. I think I have bought at least four of these now. <laughs> Bumpy and I both agree that it's better in iced coffee. He has some like hot coffees that he feels like it's not great in, but then he has others that he really likes it. So he's on the fence, but I love it in iced coffee. So while the oven is preheating, we're gonna go ahead and make our brown sugar cinnamon topping. Remember I'm halving this, so I'm gonna do one tablespoon of brown sugar and then about half a teaspoon of regular sugar some cinnamon, a tiny little pinch of salt, and then last but not least is some melted butter. I have my little baby whisk, and I'm just gonna whisk this until it's nice and smooth, and we will pour this right over top. This already looks so good. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for like 35 to 45 minutes, and while it's in there, I'm gonna go get ready for the day. <laughs> I'm really excited to actually have a delicious breakfast. And this is only part one. We're about to make a whole other recipe. <laughs> really? Yes. What are we having next? Oh, you just wait. Oh. It's like a cheesy potato bacon casserole. Mmm. Uh-huh. 
breakfast all day. All day. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my goodness. Huh. The rise. The Bonk. fluff. The poof. That like rose up beautifully. Hold on, look. Watch, watch the uh you see the jiggle? Yes. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that looks <laughs> so good. I think I left it in there for like 40 minutes. So it's yeah. literally perfect. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool for just a minute and then we're gonna top it with syrup and powdered sugar. How, how, uh, like how much did this, did it like double in size? If like, not triple. So it, it, it's like. Yes. <laughs> and I have been craving some French toast, so I'm like pumped for this. Yeah. I would want like a cinnamon syrupy kind of breakfast. French toast is one of those things like I don't like ordering out like at a breakfast place because I don't know. I just don't feel like it. Like when I get it, I'm never like, oh my gosh, this is so good. See, I'm opposite of monkey because I never order French toast out, but I always want to. And the few times that I do, I'm like, this is so good, so worth it. So I'm opposite of you. Hmm. And then every time I think about making it at home, I feel like we just never have like bread around. Like we never buy like loaves of bread. We don't. But. Which really holds me back from having delicious sandwiches. I gotta start getting less of bread. I'm just kidding, we don't. Because I always want French toast and like we just never have what we need to make it. So I am the most excited for this. Okay, I really need a baby sifter, but I'm not getting out our big one. <laughs> just for this little bit of powdered sugar. So we'll just pretend like this is really pretty. <laughs> just do a nice little side tap. I'm doing a side tap here. Actually, this is working. This is working. Oh, bonky, bonky. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Look at my bonky. You gotta have a little fruit with our, you know. Okay, and a little drizzle of maple syrup. I just had a bite. Look at that nice bottom, dude. Mm -hmm. Mmm. See? That's magical. That is so good. That's like one of my favorite things we've made, breakfast-wise. You put this with the, uh, you know, the little breakfast sandwiches. You got this. We're talking Christmas morning. This, you guys need to remember this one for Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Write it down, save mm. it. It's amazing. Wow. That is yummy. Y'all? I have to say I might like this better than like regular French toast. It was so easy. This is like one of those breakfasts you have to make. Like your family's gonna love it. Do it and surprise them and have like a yummy weekend breakfast. Yeah. Now I don't even know how we could possibly top the past few recipes because they were amazing. Like some of the best breakfasts I've like I've ever made, I've ever ate, I've ever had, like those recipes were incredible. Also, I meant to tell y'all this, if you wanted to do sausage instead of bacon on the sliders, you totally could. In this next recipe that we're gonna make, you could also do sausage if you wanted to, whatever meat you prefer. But like I was saying, we're gonna do these cheesy bacon potato casserole. I, I don't see how it could top the other two, but it might. Now in this recipe, you don't want like whole strips of bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ours cooking and I'm just gonna cut it into like tiny little pieces and let it cook like that because we're basically gonna like sprinkle all of the cooked bacon in the casserole. And then I'm gonna do half my side and half Bunky's side. <laughs> so after we cook our bacon, I'm gonna leave some of that bacon grease and I'm gonna saute a little bit of onion in there and I'll put the onion on Bunky's side. Okay, that bacon is almost done. I have Bunky's onion over here, a paper towel, so I can put the bacon on there when it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk together my eggs. Of course, I am kind of halving this recipe as well. So I'm gonna do like four eggs. Okay, now I'm gonna drain off like the majority of this grease, but leave a little bit in there for our onion. Okay. 
Okay, so now to my eggs, I'm gonna add just a splash of milk in there. And we'll just whisk these together. Now you wanna grab like a medium sized bowl because we're gonna kind of like mix everything together before we pop it in our baking dish. And then you're gonna wanna get some frozen diced hash browns and they can be frozen. You don't have to thaw them or anything, but make sure you get the diced ones. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. This may or may not be a good idea, but I'm gonna eyeball these and add them into our bowl. Now just add your bacon on top and then pour in your eggs. If you were cooking the onion and putting it everywhere, you would go ahead and add your onion in now too. I'm just gonna literally lay bumpies on top on his side, but if you're using it, add it in. You will not believe what ingredient I almost missed. I was in here thinking, I know there's another ingredient in here, but it like was not coming to me. Y'all, we gotta add some cheese in here, of course. So cheese going in, and you wanna save some of it because you're gonna add it on top once it bakes for a little while. And then a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. We have almost no pepper left. <laughs> if y'all watched the last video, you know. But I'm gonna use everything we've got. And really just a teeny tiny pinch of salt because that bacon's already salty. Now again, I'm just using my eight by eight, but if you're doing the full recipe, then do your nine by 13. And you just wanna like generally grease this. I said generally generously grease this. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna put Bunky's onions down in there on this one side. Okay, now that's it. Just into the oven at 350 for 35 minutes. Okay, then after the 35 minutes, we're gonna pull it out, top it with more cheese, pop it back in for just like five to eight minutes, and then it will be done. Okay, it's been like 35 minutes. The Bunky's gonna pull it out, and we'll top it with our other cheese. Oh, that's looking good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I cannot wait to eat this, okay? <laughs> this is a bunky number one recipe if I've ever seen. Okay, topping it with just a little bit more cheese and then five more minutes in the oven and we will be ready to eat. You know what's so funny? I literally gave you like the tiniest little strip but you don't recall which direction or... No, I figure I'll find it. Oh, no, there's one peeking through. So it's either right here or it's right there. There's another one right there. Okay, so, so it's I, this I one right here. I think we're along here. this edge. All right. Oh, oh, yes. Came out nice and clean. Yum. Okay, I told Bunky that I get first dibs on this one because this is like, you know, basically for me. But then I'll let you, I'll let you tell them about the onions. Okay. Because I'm sure that gives it a lot of good flavor. Yeah. Mm. And how we feeling about it? Mm. The eggs and the potatoes are so soft and fluffy. The bacon gives it like a nice, like different texture, crunch, saltiness to it. I feel like this is delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Probably your onions is gonna be great. So since I don't have onions, I want a little bit more flavor. Yeah. You know, like I could have added something else in here. Oh. Cracked pepper Parmesan. Oh, I should have <laughs> had that in there, but it's so good. What were you gonna say? Um, I can dash it with hot sauce. Yeah. Delish. Always, Bre breakfast casserole basically always enjoys a little hot sauce mm. addition. But with the bacon, yep. it's so good. I just feel like the texture of this breakfast casserole came out perfect, because sometimes you know, whenever you make one, and it's like not all the way cooked in the center, or yep. it's mushy. Or dense. This texture is amazing. Like, it's really, really good. I got a whole nice little edge edge area there. Mm -hmm. You're missing out in life without the onion sage. Because <laughs> that, I think, is exactly what you're missing. Yeah. I'm sure it is. I wish I could do it. I would, I would love to have all three of these options on Christmas morning. One one of each. Like, Agreed. please. See, I think this one is nice as it gives you like the savory, salty, and the French toast is nice as it gives you the sweet element. Mm -hmm. Those two together, and then the sliders are just like insane. Yeah. All on their own. Those slider things were so good. Yeah. I mean, this is like, this is really good. And I do like the fact that it's kind of a, maybe this is like a, a, a later morning. Like a brunch. Because it has the onions in it, and yeah. it's like... I mean, the onions add that, that sweet, there's a, like, they add a little bit of a sweet factor. Mm. See, so there's a, there's a blend of flavors when you, when you have that, 
delicious caramelized onion in there. Ooh, funky. Uh -huh. Okay, I must say we have had some amazing breakfast recipes for the past two days. Don't you agree, Bunky? I do. They were incredible. Y'all are going to love them. I cannot wait for you to make these for your family. Tell me what you think. I'll have all of them linked or typed out down below. Don't forget to check out Smithfield at your local grocery stores. We love so many of their products. I know you guys love them too. As always, I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.